Hey there, welcome to the channel and in this video I will show you how can you make this simple looking scene inside Blender that with some color grading and lighting tweak that can look like a bit of a sinister that can look like uh, you know like one of those uh, surreal kind of art. So without further ado, let's begin. So now we are inside Blender and inside Blender let's just hit general and a new add new menu pop will come to you and now let's just select all the default cube uh, in this case I'm gonna delete default cube default camera not the default lighting so let's import the model that I'm going to add and it's a uh, obg so let's import our model uh, from the directory it's gonna take some time to load up but um, this uh, for this purpose of tutorial, I think I am going to add a grass material. So here we are with our grass model already being prepared. Now let's hit to pre-rendered. And as you can see, the grass doesn't have any material now. But before that, I want to have some uh, differentiation variation of the grass, like making some wave before I place my final object. So I am going to change it to sculpt mode and on sculpt mode I am going to do some various changes like just showcasing that there is some kind of wave into the grass field. Just do like a plenty good amount of radius on the brush and uh, paint over certain areas like uh, just paint over edges. Um, for me I would just age around and paint around the uh, vertices and then maybe around center because uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna make look like the wind has just uh, made the overall grass a little bit messy situation right now so as you can see right now it's uh, working pretty great the grass is looking like it's just uh, messed up right now inside so uh, when you do the randomly painting over the brush just change the brush size and do whatever but uh, uh, let's see that inside of the our grass field now we have a big gap and in this gap i'm gonna place my model of the cycle so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just go to pre-rendered and as you can see with the light it all it's already looking pretty nice right now like um very good scenario dark scenario so let's just go to the <coughs> import option and i'm gonna import the cycle model and it's since it's a fbx model so i'm just gonna press fbx and wait for a couple of minutes till the render loads up so i'm gonna do it again since um, i mis correct misguessed that the model was fbx but the model is wbg so let's import our model of the cycle and once it's inside blender uh it's gonna take a little bit time since this model has been much more pixel density so it's gonna take a long time to load and i'm doing this tutorial inside a laptop so um due to the minimum gpu power it's taking a massive toll to load but we can uh, just wait and until the model loads uh, we're gonna have to do some texture shading and uh, also the model probably could be in a wrong manner of way like it's gonna be something on reverse and there we go our model is just ready ready but now it's in a wrong order so let's change it let's bring it up press g and z to bring it up on z axis and now let's enlarge it a little bit um there you go that's fine now let's rotate it so press r and uh on y axis let's rotate that looks fine now press r again on z axis um no not this one press r again and uh on the z axis yeah now let's rotate uh to your position of liking but i want it to vertical something like uh it looked like a vertical kind of scene so yeah it looks good to me in this position so now let's break it down a little bit press z and z um, but first let's have it on a little bit of a s axis and after that let's place it on the z axis and there you go our cycle is placed and right now the more 
the environment, the everything is looking pretty nice as if like we are almost done with it. So now what we are gonna do is we are going to the chain engine and change it to cycle to see the overall uh, much more light intensity because cycle gives you much more creative freedom on the light and everything but cycle takes a lot of time to process so I would suggest Eve since Eve is very first but in Eve just light is not so good so now I'm gonna add um, environment texture uh, sky texture to bring out our sky so in cycles there is Nishita uh, in which you can like pretty much make your sky but I want uh, to have a dark sky so play around the settings till you get a satisfied, satisfied result of the sky so change the strength to something minimum and that will draw down the daylight and uh, play with the air like it it's gonna give some kind of a dark reddish vibe and also same with the dust uh, so it's gonna let, let's not just hit um, fully 10 if you set it around 4 or something like that and uh, increase the ozone so that will knock off the red tint and also uh, if you can send the sun elevation and sun rotation too that's so gonna make a lot of variety but sun rotation is just too much so 45 um, no I think 0 is fine because uh, 90 just brings out much more color so we want 0, 0 is fine Attitude, you can do it, but um, I'm pretty fine with uh, whatever zero it is. So, change the sun size, it will just decrease the overall <coughs> minimal approach of the sunlight. So, as you can see in cycles, it just it takes a lot of time to load. So, maybe just let's go back to pre rendered and see if I'll see. There you go, uh, the scene is pretty much good to go and now I'm gonna change the engine to Eve so I'm gonna give some materials to the grass and everything but before that let's add the sky so change the sky texture to Pritham and in Pritham um, you can see that it's it, it looks like uh, you know one of those dark glowy scene but now I'm, I'm gonna change the grass color to something like green but darker green so it will look like not so much flat you know so let's select a darker green color um, I'm pretty sure it will look pretty fine with the lighting and there you go it, it already looks good with the darker but now let's add uh, shading to our cycle so if you have the node wrangler enabled you can go to the shading select the principal one and uh, press ctrl shift T and that will bring up a um, little bit of uh, pop-up option but now uh, let's just go to the material option and go to the base color select image texture so open the image texture that you restore in the device and our image texture is ready to go it's already backed into the model <clears throat> and um, wait for some minute to load it up and there you go it's loading up pretty nice now what we can do is we can add another light with a little bit of a red tint that will give much more dramatic look to the overall scene so how you can do that um, but before that let's play a little bit tweaking with the sky texture and if you increase it it's gonna just bring out more daytime scenario but we don't want that we want something like a darker time scenario let's increase the uh, overall sunlight power but if you increase it it's just gonna look like it's a daylight you know something like that but we want the scenario something darker so let's add a light and this time I'm just gonna go with the spotlight um, for area light so bring up your light on Z axis <coughs> so it will only reflect on the bicycle so let's increase our light's power to see how it will affect. Give something like 10,000, that's too much, but I know. I'm just gonna change it to uh, the color to something like red. Um, like darker red would be pretty fine, yeah, there you go. The darker red, it's looking good. 
and now I'm just gonna decrease the opacity of the power so it will only affect on the metal body of the cycle and looks pretty good so now one more time let's add a camera to see how it would look like inside the final settings so position the camera to your liking and when you're done pretty much that's it uh, but the sky is still missing to me so I want to go back to the sky and add some depth to it I, I, I can add the sky by adding a plane and image texture but I want to do it in environment texture with this sky texture so let's just remove it and do it all, all over again so it will look like a fresh one um, there is another option you can actually uh, go to the add-on if you have that dynamic sky add-on already enabled you can just click on dynamic sky and it will create a dynamic sky for you pretty much you're done so go to the vault overview and you can find a dynamic one and that's your sky so uh, when, if you are in cycles it's gonna take a long time to load uh, so change the render engine to something like Eve that will look good but in cycles you can also do the tweaking like let's for example let's just say decrease the brightness of the overall scene and uh, but uh, I would suggest Eve because cycles it takes a long time like a uh, long time to show the result if you have a low spec PC laptop whatever it is so cycle works really great if you have compatible CPU power so now let's change our sky to something that we want I want something like darker blue something like that so let's change it on that and increase some brightness to see that what's popping up on our behind the skin so let's change the horizontal color to something I want maybe darker yeah not darker but something like blue um, let's experiment with the yellow and see how it looks but it, it just looks like too much so let's decrease it to something somewhere around uh, 0.08 and change the color of uh, the cloud and uh, horizontal color to blue and wait some second I think the sky looks pretty good now so uh, you can also decrease the shadow uh, color saturation since uh, it's not really much needed let's decrease this guy much more and it will look much more darker if you want you can uh, have the sun bellow up upward but if you increase the sun bellow it's gonna look like a, a lot of light inside the scene like a lot so decrease the sun bellow to one one is pretty fine because uh, if you do three three is just gonna just ruin the whole scene the light setup and everything so let's keep like one and uh, there you go it's ready to go our, our whole scenario is already looking pretty nice so there you go my friends uh, you can or again if uh, the, this, this one doesn't work just delete and uh, press cam shift a to bring out and uh, this is how you can like uh, pretty much do your capture shot set up a camera and y-axis and um, bring it up on much more on the y-axis and it's done and now let's keep some depth of field I'm gonna select the cycle and, uh, increase the uh, not increase the decrease the shutter so there will be depth of field applied to the scene not point one and that looks pretty good and um, yeah so I feel like our whole scene is pretty much done so this is how you can actually like uh, the render image and image will be rendered out so this is how you can actually make a uh, pretty simple scene in blender using some ready-made assets like 3d model and all and it's gonna look pretty good like if you do some good lighting tweaks and everything so i hope this tutorial helped you and if it did 
leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you on to the next one. Have a nice one, everybody.